I've been trimming in my garden this morning and I wanted to bring you out here and show you what's been happening. It's been a while since I made a video, so I wanted to catch you up on what I've learned this summer and what I hope you might learn from also. So let's move along in the garden and I'll show you what's going on. Okay, this is this morning's harvest. We've got blueberries and potatoes that I washed and put on this screen to dry. I've been trying to get out five gallon bucket at a time each day and I've got three rows to go before I get them all out. Then we have the Roma 2 beans. We got quite a lot of those today. And we have the tenderette beans. And I've got four ears of corn. My first planting of corn is ready. But I'm just harvesting enough to eat each day right now. But soon I'll have to take it all in and freeze part of it. And then we have tomatoes today. We've got health kick and Cherokee purple. And you see they're not ripe yet, but they will ripen in the house, and they'll be just fine. And blemish tomatoes are a blessing also, because our old spot pigs just love to eat extra tomatoes. Alright, here you go. This is corn from our second planting. love to eat the shucks and the cobs and the stalks and the corn if I give it to them. So nothing is wasted. In the summertime I have plenty of healthy grass that grows up in the pathways of the garden and some people might think that's a bad thing but I think it's a very good thing. I can always walk in my garden without getting in the mud and when it grows higher than I want it I can just trim it and it will put organic matter into the garden. It provides a living mulch, roots in the ground to make the soil healthier so it can be a benefit to the garden. This was one of my potato beds and I have got all the potatoes out of it and got up the most of the weeds that were in it and roughed up the ground a little bit with a hoe and then I spread cover crop seed in it. I used some Crowder pea seed that I already had and I spread some buckwheat seed in with it. So I'll have a cover crop that I want to grow here for about five or six weeks. I want to use this for my fall garden plants and I didn't want the soil to be bare until then so this cover crop should be good for that. And you can see what I have here after I've trimmed. It looks like a nice neat green living garden and that's what I like. And here's my first planting of buckwheat and peas and you can see how they've grown and I think you can see all the bees that are working over the buckwheat blooms. We don't have many honeybees anymore because as most of you probably know there's a problem with honeybees. But thank goodness we have lots of bumblebees and there's a pretty butterfly in there that would help pollinate things. This is Mississippi purple hoil peas I planted here and this is my last planting of corn that's almost ready to harvest. When I finish with this, I plan to also put a cover crop here. And then down further is my second planting of cover crop. This is where I want to plant my fall garden. Uh, broccoli, collards, cabbage, and that type of thing. So the bees are working over it very well too. See a little frog here in our garden this morning or in our garden pond. There 
here's some of our ripe elderberries and I've already taken in some of those and froze them. And we have a pretty butterfly on our sunflower along with some bees. Several small bees and I don't really know what they are. They don't look just like honeybees. You can see the bumblebees also pollinating these rattlesnake beans. This is another really large sunflower seed head right next to one that has lots of pretty blooms on it and lots of different kinds of bees working on it. These are the fall plants that I've grown that are almost ready to go in the garden. I've got some greens, a new kind of green that I haven't had before, and collards and cabbage and beets. And I'm trying carrots. I know everybody says don't do carrots to transplant because the roots might be crooked. But I'm going to try it and see if it can work out okay for me. And also have some broccoli. Okay, that's all from our garden today. It's time to start working on the fall garden here in North Carolina, so I wish you happy gardening.